But Gary Rozier has performed well when given the opportunity in that starting lineup. And the Celtics right now searching it in some respects to kind of get their mojo back, guys, in terms of being the, the hunted this season. And they haven't necessarily responded as well as you would like. No, nah, they haven't hit stride all year. They've had times where they look pretty good. But they've got to right now turn this thing up and just get better ball movement, better spacing, and just play together well. Nice move by Al Horford there. Out and drop 6.5 rebounds to start the game off. If you're going to call your teammates out, you better come out and play basketball. And Marcus Morris is definitely doing that. Nice pass. Well, that's the chemistry that the Bobby and Toby show give you. No <laughs> yeah, doubt. They've been yeah. together for a little while. Nice give and go action there for the Deuce. And, and, it, it's and they have good skits, too. I like they, this. They, they, <laughs> but they but they it's do. unbelievable yeah. you go from Detroit to L.A., and to now Philadelphia. The two are inseparable, and you can see right there communicating without talking on that back door cup. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, Al Horford there just big boy. I think also what, what the Celtics are doing too, they're closing down a lot of those little lanes that we were seeing some great pull up that time by Jalen Brown getting to a spot. But they're allowing, or basically when Joel has the ball, they're putting jerseys out there so he sees someone in front. So yeah. those lanes are not readily available as he's had in the past so that's a good schematic defensive plan by the Celtics thus far guys we talked about Jalen Brown and, and Tatum being Ooh. two of the guys that do a bulk of the scoring but Kyrie Irving is out the game doing an excellent job of that Karan, you're 100% right there. There's an example, though, where you get Embiid on the block, able to get the shot to fall, set the starting, the, the lineups. Embiid, Butler, Reddick's back in the game with McConnell and Scott, and they're going to count that one. Celtics bring Brown, Horford. See Jordan Hooper kind of in trouble right here. Good defense by the Sixers. Out in transition, but have a post player. <laughs> okay, Jimmy Butler. Yeah. Jimmy Buckets. <laughs> you know, but has a post play that you can go to. Yeah. When your offense is not working right, now you can dump it down the hole for A, he can score. Two, he can make a play for your teammates. Not a lot of teams do have that, so I, I see the point you're making as far as Horford being more aggressive offensively. Yeah, good strong move there by Jason Tatum. Right here, that was the floater. In particular in the playoff, it was quick decisions, backdoor cuts. You overhelp, now we're going to make you pay. Oh, oh, goodness, Jimmy Butler. Simmons kicks it up ahead to Tobias. Trying to take advantage of the mismatch with Rozier and does a good job of it. You see Harris in the second half kind of taking away some airspace. Speaking of oh, airspace, oh, goodness. Horford doesn't get it to go, but didn't give up on the play. Kept it alive. Oh, back at you. <laughs> great, great point right there, JJ. Four on the clock here. And Butler gets mm. all the way to the rim at the buzzer. Minus 11 when he hasn't been. So you talk about being a difference maker tonight. Well, thank goodness I finally made one. Well, you know, if you shoot enough of them, eventually, <laughs> one of five, able to get that one to go. And, well, that was a huge basket here. Cuts it to four for Philly. How about the matchup there? Beautiful finish up and over MB, but they've got, they had Hayward being guarded by MB on that last possession. Great double team that time by Jalen Brown. Well, that is a tough shot again going left shoulder there. Able to knock that one down. Four point lead here for Boston. It's, it's pretty much nothing you can do once he gets that big body inside the lane. He's able just to shoot over the top, but making that three point shot opened it up. A beautiful pass Ooh. inside from Jalen Brown. Making it difficult for the Sixers to keep the Celtics in front of him. Ooh, Gordon Hayward continues to give them the business here tonight. Nine-point lead now. Six of seven is Boston from the field in this quarter. Nice ball. Oh, I tell you, they needed that. Simmons yeah. knocks down the triple to cut it back to six. Yeah. 
And, and an interesting lineup on the floor for the Sixers. You got Simmons and Mike Scott, two new additions out there with Redick, Embiid, and Simmons. And boy, I tell you what, they're going to get Jalen Brown there with a beautifully delivered strong finish through Embiid. I think defensively with this lineup here with Philadelphia able to switch and not have as many mismatches on the court. Simmons able to get to his sweet spot not that. Just hit me up if you want to know where to go. <laughs> I, I got you. Simmons there nice. gets in the lane there with that runner. A good time shot. You know, of course he worked out with Kobe. Yeah. He does a terrific job of creating that space to right. get to his jump shot. Embiid, that he's not capable, but with the way Horford and Hayward have been shooting it along with Tatum, you'd like to see those guys get more opportunities. Great tip there. Oh, oh, Embiid, yeah. 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 that's a great call there, Jimmy. And boy, this has been an entertaining game, and I always say it's important when your best players, they don't always have to play well to play well. You know, the yeah. shots haven't been falling. And go right back to Joel right now, isolated in the mid post. Like I said, he's having a good game. Yeah, yeah, guy's playing great. This guy's unbelievable. Hasn't missed a shot all day. You know, but it goes back to what, before yeah. he didn't get a foul, okay, on Horford. This time, that little reach yeah. by Horford in the shoulder. So they are really trying to post up. Smart. And Hayward delivers again. Good defense. Al Horford earning his money tonight defensively. Oh! And remember, MB with five fouls could not contest there. Oh, that's the one thing he did not want in that situation. Butler able to get all the way to the rim. I, I, I give Sixers credit there. A lot of patience because it was defended pretty well by the Celtics up until that reach in there by Tatum. Yeah, the late closeout. Ooh, they're going to get a foul there. Ooh, that was close. Gets them both to go. Not the one they wanted. Indeed, stop. Scores there, but and run the risk of not even getting the shot up. But right now, you got to put some pressure on him. Try to get, try to get deflection in the steal. That was a little too easy. Yeah. If you're Philadelphia. Greg, you know this, that now you're cutting harder, you're playing defense better, you know the ball is going to get in your hand as Tatum knocks in the second free throw. We saw a little bit more pop, I thought, to the offense with Boston on the road, and sometimes it's good to leave and go somewhere else and try to figure it out on the road, and the Celtics did an excellent job this evening. Oh, he didn't get it all. Didn't matter as the Celtics come in